my last video, I mentioned that I would recreate this Barbie look if you were all nice to your parents. And if I hit 2 million subscribers. Well, guess what? Thank you. Fix this here dress in your mind, then move on to step one, which is gather supplies. Resist a bird on the shoulder. Kind of. He's a Quaker oh, parrot. I had a Quaker, but I've never seen a white one with. Yeah, he's albino. Oh. Well, the pink is because of my lipstick. <laughs> Make my day. Oh, you made mine. Step two, figure out how to make wings using this obscure site called YouTube. Right, last time I had the most amazing chicken wings was with a little bit of salt and nicely dust those wings, okay? Now, from there, let's get a bit of heat. I tried a few methods of wing making, starting with just winging it, cutting out a pattern, molding some wire around the edge to that exact shape, but I couldn't keep it from flopping over, so I briefly considered using this firm plastic junk from Lowe's, but then I remembered an important clue from the tutorial. I had the most amazing chicken wings, chicken, chicken, chicken. He clearly said chicken to imply that I should be using chicken wire. His tutorials may be cryptic, but they sure are useful. The chicken wire was the perfect weight and flexibility, especially when I reinforced the edges with heavy gauge wire. After stacking the two wings on top of each other, I created two sort of wire bones that I had no idea idea what I'd do with, but I had a feeling they'd be useful later on, and you know, Gordon said they had to have bones in, and he knows best. Then I admired my temperature-sensitive color-changing nails and mailed out some headless Barbies and got back to work on the wings. I covered the wing frame in foam underlayment using hot glue to secure the front and back together. Life isn't going very well lately. Anyway, I shoved those bones in the back of a corset, and this is what it looked like. Next, it was time to make feathers, a bunch of them, by hand. I started the process using scissors, but quickly realized I had to re-strategize. So, to the rotary I went, but my niece, who I was watching at the time, tried sabotaging that endeavor by begging for affectionate in a manner that was impossible to refuse. Eventually, though, I settled into a groove, cutting out various leaf-sized shapes and making notches in the sides. It was initially very satisfying, but eventually quite tedious. I spent hours upon hours just cutting out feathers. I don't know how Garion produces so many so effortlessly. To figure out the layout, i.e. where the feathers should be bigger versus smaller, I consulted the expert himself. The verdict? Smaller on top and growing bigger towards the ends. To try and ease some of my burden, my dad came over and sliced more feathers while I placed them. Once all the feathers found their home on both the front and back, I took Gordon's advice once more. And nicely dust those wings, okay? My wing making success put me in a pretty good mood, but the next day I received a phone call that put my good mood in jeopardy. So I was rushing around getting ready for my orthodontist appointment, and then I get a phone call from a number I don't recognize, which I usually don't answer, but I was like, this could be my orthodontist. I pick up the phone, and this guy says, Hi, is this Makara Tour? And I was like, yes. And he said, This is so and so from the police department. And I'm thinking, what have I done? What, did I, what have I seen? And he asked if I could come to the police department this afternoon, so let's see. Well, if I don't see you for a while, it's been real. So apparently when I was filming my holiday Barbie reveal, I left this phone on the ground. Someone turned it into the police department and they were calling me to come get it. Still a free bird for now. And these are the wings. This video is sponsored by PayPal Honey. So it is Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. Before each purchase, Honey scans the internet for promo codes so you don't have to. It works for things you're already buying on sites you're already shopping. It's incredibly fun. I mean, when you save money, you feel a little rushed. So don't drink alcohol. Try Honey. You can use Honey on shoes, meal delivery, video games, even flights. Now for a more technical, scientific demonstration, we're going to go to Scientist McCare. Hi, I'm a paid actor pretending to be a licensed scientist, and this is my first test subject. I just bought a brand new pair of shoes. How much were they? $50. Now watch this. How about now? $39. This is Courtney. Why is there a tart? Courtney, tell the camera what you just bought. I just got a flight to Florida for $190. How about now? $160? Ruthie, what's the last thing you bought? I just bought a pack of shoelaces for $30. Aww. How about now? $21.99? JJ, what's the last thing you bought online? Let's get it over with. Don't you feel better? Of course. You can add Honey to your browser for free, but don't just go to joinhoney.com. Instead, go to joinhoney.com slash Makara. That will let them know that you like me. So thanks, Honey, and thanks to my sticky friends. The next day, it was time to make the dress. I didn't feel like it, so I stayed in bed kind of late. Garion was a little concerned, so he came up to check on me. Then I stalled by spending a lot of time on my makeup and then a subsequent amount of time filming that makeup. We're making the dang dress today. This is the fabric I originally got for the dress, but I was not super pleased with it. On the plus side, it's pretty stretchy. On the minus side, it's ugly. So? I also got this. This one feels more Dolly Parton to me, which is important because I think she has a good heart. And so, like always, I turned to the violent mob to answer my question. The majority ruled, and that ruling was sequence. This nation is, after all, something of a democracy still, till I get my hands on it. Oh my god, most people. You're gonna lay down and have somebody else trace your body, but like as if it were a trumpet. 
like at the knees it'll flare. You know my dad plays trumpet, right? Yeah, no, it shows. First, I made a mock-up by grabbing this old sheet that I feel positive I've already cut up 12 times before, but clearly not because here it is showing its fully intact, ugly little face. Then I made a short lining with some flesh-colored fabric so that honestly my dress would just be a little warmer. I assumed I'd be mainly modeling this outside, though, spoiler, I ended up following a suggestion from an old co-worker to model it at the courthouse. I liked this idea because the courthouse has stained glass windows, but I failed to really consider that it would be full of people who actually work there and a few people exiting actual court proceedings. I digress. JJ, what are your fashion trend predictions for 2020? I'm just going to change. Did your boyfriend text you? Did he? <laughs> Do I really have a face when yes. I'm texting? Isn't Ruthie adorable? Speaking of Ruthie, here's her in my holiday Barbie dress. Anyway. I'm gonna put on the wing and you guys are all gonna give me your genuine reaction, but make sure it's really impressed. Whoa! Think no, that. No, no. Every individual feather. Do you know how many nine hours it took me? Nine hours. <laughs> Think fast. <laughs> I'm not a best. <laughs> We all listened to Crime Junkie while I added the zipper and hemmed the bottom of the skirt and Ruthie and Garion took countless fire selfies. Are you curious about why my dad comes to my house to take a nap with Garion every day? Oh sorry, oh no, you want to know my New Year's resolutions? Oh. Resolution. Dress and do my hair in a way that is physically comfortable, but mentally less comfortable. So all we have left to do is the top of the dress, the hem of the dress, the halo, the gauntlets, and the intricately embroidered belt. And how long do we have to do it? The rest of today. Let's get to it then. Now for the halo thing, you're going to want to trace a very big ball. This should not do it, too small. If you don't have anything big enough to trace, here's a trick. Yank out your hair extensions, then fasten some chalk about nine inches down. Hold the clip down in the middle, then let the chalk dance in a circle around it. Oh, and if you're wondering what this thick plastic stuff is, I don't know, my sister gave it to me when she was begging me to make this dress. I feel like that could, like, look at the light go through. Then you hold it up in front of the football game. Oh, perfect. Can you perfect. see through it? No, but I hate football, so. <laughs> Aligned the halo in gold and doodled on the back of it in hopes that it would just slightly show through. Then moving on to those nice golden gauntlets, I rolled and glued down the edges of some EVA foam, then wasted my time spraying spray painting it and then use my time wisely acrylic painting it. The gold wasn't cool toned enough though, so I had to mix my own concoction to eliminate the warmth. When it comes to light bulbs though, I always prefer warm. Like the ones at my mom's house. How do you use these things? Sonny, have you ever used a fire extinguisher? I'm mean, I haven't. That is scary. <laughs> <laughs> My mom has the warmest light bulbs in town. Then I glued some trim on in a gently swooping pattern and lastly added some Velcro. And listen, if I told you the story about how I got this Velcro, you would not believe me. Now for the silver halter bit, you're gonna wanna sew a giant tube that would be suitable for a ferret to run through. Then just lay it on yourself how you think it would look best. Sew the ends to the back on either side of the zipper, crisscross them over the front, sew them in the back, it's simple. Next, glue some trim onto the straps, then make this belt. I could explain to you how to make this belt, but instead I should probably let you know that this is goodbye, at least for a while. I filmed most of this video when I was on top of the world, but Towards the end, things kind of came crashing down, and just editing it has been dang near impossible. I try to keep my channel happy and energetic, but things won't be happy and energetic for a while. I hope to be back somewhat soon, and I hope this video didn't stink too bad. <laughs> I do not recommend strapping the wings around your neck. However, if you do, try and find a dad who will take shifts at wing wearing with you. That way, the painful weight is distributed over two necks. And if you do model your dress at a courthouse and an old acquaintance who works there invites you into a courtroom because they have 15 minutes before the next defendant arrives, try to think of better puns than I did. Is this an inappropriate location to film? Sorry, I tried to think of better things to say and better places to film. I briefly considered going to a nursing home to try and cheer some people up, but then I was afraid they'd see me in this outfit and get the wrong idea about what was going on. The courthouse it was. I got charged with impersonating a celestial being. My wings are bigger. Bring Gary now, see if he thinks I'm his real mom now. Buddy! <laughs> how to bring all the fierceness of Miss France. Hey, mom! I'm now 
pronounce this video? Over.